Louisiana Beer Review Samuel Adams Limited Release Holiday White Ale. Ale brewed with spices. 5.8% alcohol. 8 IBUs. I think this replaced something they used to make called Samuel Adams White Ale. Similar, lower ABV, but I think it was also 8 IBUs. Ah, the holidays. And then they go on. Uh, two row pale malt blend. Of course. You know that. And then... Uh, uh, Ida Pills malts, spalt, spalter of the hops. They also add cinnamon, nutmeg, and orange peel. Gets a good score on Beer Advocate, 82 out of 100. Rate Beer, 67 out of 100, but only 10 check-ins. They don't like it. And then a 71 out of 100 on untapped. So 67, 71, 82. Pretty big range. I know there's video reviews. I intend to watch them. Eventually, I found a single. I wasn't going to get a whole set, uh, six pack. And same thing with the new holiday. What is it? The winter lager. Yeah, they. It's reformulated, but I, I want to find a single. I bought a single of this with Mathern's, and I got a feeling Mathern's going to put the other one on on, on single offering. Nice little pop. Best by May of 2020. Nice, nice, nice. This beer is certified kosher. <clears throat> Two wit beers in a row. Okay, not my style actually, but I got to admit that Tin Roof American Wheat Ale from uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana was mighty fine. I don't like the style, but it was a good beer. Not that I'd ever want to drink it. Okay, thick wheat beer type head, which means like white wheat ale. Same kind of appearance as that one from Baton Rouge. The yellowish orange, although I think the, I think the um, that one was more um, orange. And this could cloud up like that one when I do the swish and pour. You could pick up the orange peel on this. Now with that one from Baton Rouge, um, it had like a banana and bubblegum smell. To me it was more like a half of ice, but um, This, this you're picking up the orange peels, kind of a blue moon type situation. Taste. It's kind of like blue moon with cinnamon and nutmeg in it. I'm not putting down this beer making a reference to blue moon because blue moon's fine. I mean, I have the same kind of regard for that in this. <clears throat> medium kind of fluffy, soft mouth feel. A medium body and fluffy, soft mouth feel. Mostly dry finish. It's, it's like most Boston beer company, Samuel Adams beers. They're very mild. It's like they're trying to appeal to a mass audience. I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying that's what they are. It's very similar to Harpoon, Shiner, Abita, perhaps Cigar City, Full Sail, Whitmer Brothers, Red Hook. I don't even see those anymore. There's a lot of beer. I keep watching beer reviews and I'm saying, I don't ever see this anymore. I don't ever see this anymore. I never see this anymore. Hey, that beer, I never see it anymore. It's like hundreds of craft beers 10 years ago, five years ago that we were enjoying so much. Gone. You 
say, but I bet they've been replaced by hundreds of other new ones. That's true. Flooded market. Still, I kind of like to um, go back to ones that I enjoyed previously. <laughs> Not just try them once and then go back and it's gone and never see it again. Flooded market. Too many products chasing too few people. Not my problem. Except in that context that I can't find stuff on a repeat. And sometimes when I do, I look at the date and I say, whoops, no thanks. Um, unless it's a barley wine or an imperial stout, I would say thanks. But then chances are they won't be on the shelf. Um, can I say it's nice? I mean, this is not like something exciting and new. It's, it's fine. Like most beers from this company, it's fine. I like it. I can't really say much negative about it. Because there really isn't anything negative. Oh yeah, New Belgium would fit in with that um, kind of thing I was talking about. Boulder beers. And, um, ugh, I taste it like metal. <laughs> Some of the cap. <laughs> Didn't want it to drip though. And those same Adams caps will rust. There's no doubt about that. They're steel. Because I am a magnet and they are steel. <laughs> you know, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, um. crazy it's I don't know man I, I, I think if you wanted to buy something like this I would just say okay who's cheaper shock top or blue moon or the Samuel Adams holiday white ale and I would just get whatever's cheaper because I don't think it's it's gonna be a too big of a differentiation. Except this one has the spices, but um, I think we all have tasted spices before. I have a, a little canister of cinnamon. I could put it in there. I wouldn't do it. I mean, I, you know, I could do it in with those other products. I put the cinnamon in the um, eggnog. <laughs> um, I think I should use nutmeg though. But anyway, it still spices it up. Score. <clears throat> I shouldn't re no, I should review them, but I mean, I just, I just hate the stuff. But they are, I mean, it is well made. If somebody asked me, if you could only drink wheat beers, wit beers, Hefeweizens for the rest of your life, which ones would you drink? Which one would you drink? Um, I'll probably put a gun to my head. <laughs> anyway, um, there's no negatives with it, really. I mean, what I said is not really a negative. I'm just commenting on it, making an observation, a general observation. Although I think it's a truthful observation, an accurate observation. I give it a... But 92 out of 100, it's an A minus. It's, I'm thinking back over the years of all the Boston Beer Company, Samuel Adams beers I've had, they always be around 90 to 92. <laughs> um, like excellent, but just to an extent. <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, I, I can't knock it. Uh, if you want to drink it, go ahead. I mean, you might like it. I mean, if you're into the style, you're going to probably like it. Okay, uh, and I know some people, they say, I love wheat beers. And I don't say anything, I'm just like, okay. I mean, you, what do I always say? Just drink what you like. It's not, it doesn't matter. It's not a right or wrong. It's a personal preference issue. And that's what this is here. It's totally a personal preference issue. It's not a quality issue. They're a competent company. 
a radio station asked John Lennon in 1969. There's a lot of interesting Beatle interviews from 69 to 70. But they said, what do you think about the Abbey Road album that just came out? He said, um, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's competent. He said it was a competent album. Meaning he didn't really like it, but, you know, it's technically fine. But anyway, so, laissez-les, bon temps relay, an A minus, um, most, I mean, a marginally excellent, if that makes any sense, Barry, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.